God Hits. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I am your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I am wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Guys, today is very special, y'all. It is my 1,000th YouTube video. This was not planned. Holy Spirit told me a few weeks ago to come on and create a four-part series on my brand, All It Takes Is One Move From God, Just One. I want to give you guys a little bit of backstory because I want to cut to the chase. These This series is going to be very short. I think the entire series with four episodes probably will not be over 25 minutes. So we're looking at between five to seven minutes an episode just because I have to get straight to the point because it's some things that God wants us to do. He wants us to get to. And as they say, it don't take all day to see the sunshine. So I'm kind of in and out on this series because I really want you guys to get it, grab it, and roll on to the next thing. A couple little things with housekeeping as well. I will be setting these up as premieres, so make sure you go in and you set your notifications. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and make sure you let people know what's going on if you feel like it will add some value to them. Now, going back to the series, the Holy Spirit told me, hey, I, I need you to do um, a breakdown on one move because my people are taking it and saying one move, but they're not focusing on what that really means for me. So I was asking God, like, how do you want that to look? What do you want me to say? How do you want me to posture myself in this space? Because in 2017, in the middle of the night when he gave me that statement and I just created the meme, I had no idea it would be viral and all of these people were posting it, it'd be everywhere. It, it blew my mind. So I really had no idea what God had in store for it. But I realize now it's becoming a ministry and you all will see in my upcoming podcast, you know, I have the unwired to inspire podcast, but I have another podcast that's going to drop soon. In addition to that, and that will be filmed. I'm wired to inspire is still there. We were working on dropping a new episodes of that, but that will still just be audio. This next podcast I have that will be visual. So, um, I'll give you some more details on that, um, in another episode, probably at the end of the series. But with that being said, when God gave me that, guys, I heard MOVE, M-O-V-E. And so MOVE became an acronym as well, okay? So it's a couple things I want to address. Each one of these episodes will have two scriptures, and I will break down what they mean. One for the letter in the acronym. Today we're starting with MOVE because this is the first one. And um, the first letter of MOVE is M, and the word for that is meditate on today. And then the next thing will be exactly what is the first step in waiting for your one move from God? What is the first thing that needs to be a part of the recipe of all it takes is one move from God, just one? Because literally that is a fact. We know that, right? How many times in our lives have we had instances and experiences where that was all it took, right? Well, I'm here to tell you, I want to break down to you what something like that would look like. So before we get to the acronym, let's get down to today's topic. So the first element of one move, God just doing one move and changing your life will be to hear and know. That was inspired by John chapter 10, verses 27 through 28. So let's read. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish no one will snatch them out of my hand. Let's talk about that. The reason why hear and know is the first step to seeing this come to pass in your life is because if we are his sheep, if we trust God with everything that we know, the first thing we know about that move we're waiting for him to make, we are going to hear his voice concerning it. Okay? So let's say, for instance, God gave you a vision for your life. You're going to hear it from him first. He will send other people to continue to confirm it, even if he says it's something I want you to do, even if that's the most he gives you. He may start sending people to say, okay, well, you're a great cook, so you know you need to start cooking, start cooking. Ten people tell you that, you start putting together the pieces, right? So the first thing you have to do is hear. Before God can make one move, you need to hear him so that you can recognize the move when it gets there right? It's, it's levels to this. It's a process to it. And I know that when the miraculous steps in, because again, 
Blessings and miracles, hey, they're not the same. That's why they're two different names. You can get a blessing every day. We blessed to wake up in the morning. We blessed to breathe and a myriad of other things. But miracles come in when it's beyond a blessing. So let me let me break this down for you real quick. This is a pro tip, right? A miracle is always a blessing, but a blessing is not necessarily a miracle. Catch that. A miracle can't be a miracle without it also being a blessing. But a blessing could just be a blessing and it's not necessarily miraculous. You could say, you know what? I, you know, I went to go get my favorite food and they had what I needed and they gave me a little bit of extra. You know, they gave me some extra. That's not a miracle. That's a blessing, right? But if you say, I literally had no money. I prayed and told God, listen, my check is not in yet. I need $1,250 and that'll pay my bills. And then somebody calls you and say, hey, girl, God just told me to give you $1,250. Okay, that's a miracle. That's a miracle and a blessing because it blesses you in your situation and it's a miraculous thing that happened, right? So that was just a little pro tip, a little fun fact. But in addition to that, y'all, I want you to understand something. You have to hear what God is saying first. And then the second part about knowing, you just got to know like you know, like you know he going to do what he said he's going to do. That's just how it is, y'all. You just have to know. So even as we wait on God in this process, right, for him to do this thing and for him to make that one big move, here is the cheat code to that, y'all. The one move only comes because there were a series of moves that happened before that one big move. Let's go back to that same example about the 1250 when God did the miraculous and he did the one move, right? It ended up being a situation where Everybody was doing stuff in tandem and they didn't even know, right? Like you prayed and then God tugged on the other person and that other person had to have that money. And then you had to be in a position where you actually needed it. You had to cry out to God. So you see what I'm saying? It's not like it's a whole big bunch of stuff that you're actually considering or thinking about, but y'all it's all rooted in obedience, right? It's all rooted in obedience. And if you get nothing else, right? I want you to read Joshua chapter one. Verse eight, and it reads, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have success. So when we talk about all it takes is one move from God, the first step in that is hearing and knowing because you are his sheep and you hear him and you know his voice and then you meditate. You continue to meditate on the word of the Lord so that it can help you be wise. It can help you have clarity and understanding because as God is working on your behalf for that one move, there are a series of other moves that happen that have to happen before you see that thing come to pass and manifest. You may or may not know the details of while, while God is doing it, but he is doing it and it's just a part of the process and it's literally a part of the process to bless you. Okay. So y'all, I'm already at eight minutes. This will probably be the longest of the series, the longest video that I have. But I want y'all to stay tuned because the next episode will be called Become What You Believe. The next one is Such a Time as This. And the final one is Stand Still. And I'll be breaking down the rest of the acronyms, which is O, V, and E, since today we covered M. But guys, I'm so grateful that you popped in with me and you are trusting me in a series, but I can guarantee you guys, I know that God made me bust this out in the fourth quarter because he wants us to kick this into high gear now. So when we go into 24, we're going to see so many big one moves from God because we have done what we needed to do behind the scenes. I believe that the praise reports and the the way God is going to move is just going to be spectacular. He's already doing that quietly, but I want you guys to really get in touch with that and know this. All it takes is one move from God, just one. And I'm Robin Nicole. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too. Roll God Hits.